asking for directions we can use a number of language expressions to perform the function of asking for and giving directions let us see some examples of sentences giving directions conversation 1 excuse me is there a bank near here yes there's a bank on the corner thank you you're welcome conversation 2 Excuse me is there a supermarket near here Yes there is one near here How do I get there At the traffic lights take the first left and go straight on it's on the left Is it far Not really Thank you Don't mention it Getting a room for the night in a hotel or motel When you go to a hotel and ask for the room for a night the conversation may be as follows See the example Good evening. Can I help you? Yes, please. I would like a room for the night. Would you like a single room or a double room? A single room, please. How much is the room? It's fifty-five dollars per night. Can I pay by credit card? Certainly. We take Visa, Mastercard, and American Express. Could you fill this form, please? Do you need my passport number? No. Just an address and your signature. Here you are. Here's your key. Your room number is two one two. Thank you. Thank you. If you need anything, dial zero for the reception area. Have a good stay. Ordering a meal in a hotel. When we order a meal, the conversation may look like as follows. See the following conversations. Hi. How are you doing this afternoon? Fine, thank you. Can I see a menu please? Certainly. Here you are. Thank you. What's today's special? Grilled tuna and cheese on ray. That sounds good. I'll have that. Would you like something to drink? Yes, I would like a coke. Thank you. Here you are. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Can I get you anything else? No thanks. I would like the bill please. That will be six point seventy-five dollars. Here you are. Keep the change. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Talking about your profession or organization. Almost at every introduction, people ask us what we do. In response to this question, we talk about our profession or the organization we work for. Let us see the following example. Hi, I'm Rajan. Hi, I'm Lucas. What do you do, Mr. Lucas? I'm a quality controller in a pharmaceutical company and maintain the quality of products. When did you join this company? I joined this company 20 years ago. What type of company is yours? Ours is a multinational company. How many people are working there? There are about 800 people working. What is the annual turnover? The annual turnover is about 80 crores. Does your company have any branches? Yes, one in Delhi and one in Hyderabad. Where is the head office? The head office is in Mumbai. Activities at home. At office, we work. Well, at home, our activities are varied. Let's now see English about activities at home. See the following example. Normally, when do you get up? At five. Why do you get up so early? I have to cook. My son leaves for school at six forty-five. At six forty-five, when does his school start? At nine o'clock. Then why does he leave so early? He has to. The school is far away, and the bus picks him up at six forty-five. When does he return? By five. What do you do in the afternoons? I read books or watch television. Don't you have a nap? No, I don't. If I have, I get headache. When do you have your lunch? Usually I have it at about 1 o'clock. Do you cook twice a day? No, only once. For supper, we have only snacks and fruits. Permissions. Expressions beginning with can, may and could are usually used for asking permission. There are also other more polite expressions using more words to ask for the permission. Asking for permission 
denotes a question. At the time of asking permission from the boss, the conversation may be as follows. Excuse me, sir. May I come in? Of course. How can I help you? Yes, I am unwell. I want to go to the doctor. What's the matter with you? I am running a high temperature and have breathing difficulty. Well, you may go now, but get well soon. Thank you, sir. Here is my leave application. Bye. Bye. At the time of asking permission from boss to go early, the conversation may be as follows. I could possibly interrupt, ma'am. It's urgent. Go ahead. I wonder if you would mind if I leave half an hour early. I need to meet my mother from hospital. Of course not. You may go early today. Thank you very much, ma'am. Do you require anything else? Nothing as of now, ma'am. Bye. Past experiences. To ask about one's past experiences, we use the following language expressions. They start either with did and you or have you ever. Let us see some examples. Have you ever done sales before? Did you ever participate in Olympics? I saw in your dad's car this morning. Are you learning to drive, Raja? No, I had a puncture and my dad gave me a lift. Did you know that Rosie is taking driving lessons? No, I didn't. But driving lessons are pretty expensive, I know. She has learned, practiced and she's applied for her license. That's good because it usually takes a longer time to do all these. Conversation 2. Did you post that letter, Pran? Oh no. Oh no, forgot. Pran, I asked you to make sure you posted it. You know, that was a letter for application for a job in Germany. It's all right. I did post it. I was only kidding. Pran, you make me cross sometimes. How much was the postage to Germany? It was 15 rupees for the first 25 grams. Was my letter overweight? I don't suppose it was. No, it was just less than 25 grams. Did you ask when it would reach Germany? Yes, they said it would in five days. At a flea market. This dialogue focuses on a customer bargaining with a vendor at a flea market. In this situation, the conversation may be as follows. Hello ma'am, what can I do for you today? This is quite lovely. Where was it made? Oh, I see you have excellent taste. Yes, that is beautiful, isn't it? It's a local pottery. I think it was painted here by a local artist. It's really something. Do you have anything else by this artist? Well, I'm not really sure who exactly painted which pieces of pottery. But here are some similar pieces. No, they are really not the same. Well, how about these here? I had them brought in just this morning. Yes, those are quite nice. What about the prices? Obviously, it depends on what you would like to buy. That plate that you were first looking at costs $50. $50? That's quite dear. I can't afford that. Remember, these are hand-painted pieces of pottery. That kind of handicraft work doesn't come cheaply. Yes, I understand that. But I really think that $50 is just too much. Listen, I can see that you are in love with that plate. Let's just make it $45. I would really like you to take that home with you. How about $35? I really can't go any higher than that. I really can't. I mean, that would be selling at cost. Well, $38 is absolutely the most I can spend. Alright, 
I really shouldn't. The artist is going to have me put out of business for selling his wares at such low prices. Come, come, let's not exaggerate. You're a clever one, aren't you? I'm just someone who pays close attention to what I spend. There's no shame in that. Here you are. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a pleasant day. A busy day. Two friends speaking in a park when they meet each other jogging. In this situation, the conversation may be as follows. Hi, Catherine. How are you today? I'm great. And you? Very busy. I'm jogging now, but later I have to do a lot. What do you have to do? Well, first of all, I have to do some shopping. We don't have anything to eat at home. And then? Little Johnny has a basketball game this afternoon. I am driving him to the game. Oh, how is this team doing? They are doing very well. Next week, they are travelling to Toronto for a tournament. That's impressive. Well, Johnny likes playing basketball. I am happy he is enjoying it. What are you doing today? I am not doing much. I am meeting some friends for lunch. But other than that, I don't have much to do today. You are so lucky. No, you are the lucky one. I like to have so many things to do. Restaurants At restaurant, there are many situations to talk about. At different situations, the conversations may be as follows. Inviting people for a meal 1. In this situation, conversation may be as follows. Hi, Krish. Do you fancy going for lunch? Yeah, why not? Shall we say 12.30? Alright, see you then. Inviting people for a meal too. In this situation, conversation is as follows. Would you like to come for dinner? Yes, that would be great. Right. How would 7 be? Oh, I'm afraid. I can't make it today. I have got something on. What about tomorrow then? Yes, that would be fine. When arriving at a restaurant, the conversation may be as follows. Good evening, sir. Good evening. A table for two, please. Do you have a reservation? No, we haven't. One minute, please, sir. This way, please. Thank you. When ordering food, the conversation looks like below. Are you ready to order, sir? Yes. I would like the chicken, please. The chicken? Certainly, sir. And one vegetable lasagne as well, please. And vegetable lasagne. And to drink. Have you got white wine? We have. Would you like to see the wine list? Just give us two glasses of house white, please. Thank you, sir. Congratulating. When something good happens to someone, we congratulate him or her to express our pleasure. See the following situations. Congratulating about his son's birthday. Hello, George. Congratulations on your son's birthday. Thank you, Tina. Nice party. Lots of people have come. I just invited my close friends. George, I'm in a hurry. See you later. Bye. Bye. See you. Congratulating about promotion. Hello, Robert. Hi, Tina. Congratulations, Robert, on your promotion as a project manager. Thank you, Tina. I worked very hard for this promotion. You deserve it. My best wishes. Good luck with your new position. It's very nice of you, Tina. Thank you once again. So, when are you going to treat us? I will treat you guys this weekend. See you. Bye. Bye, Tina. Telephone Telephoning skills and manners are very essential to be an efficient officer, secretary, receptionist, a personal assistant or an administrator. The language expressions you come across in the examples to follow can be of immense help to everyone. When getting through to the right person. Hello. Could I speak to Krish, please? Yes, speaking. Hi, this is Eric from Dubai. 
Hello Eric, how are you? Hello, could I speak to Anson please? I'm sorry, she's out at the moment. When do you expect her back? I think she'll be back in about an hour, at the latest. Well, may I leave a message? Yes, of course. Would you please ask her to call Chris when she gets back? Okay, does she have your number? I'm afraid, she doesn't. My mobile number is 94774026. 94774026. All right. Thanks for calling. Oh, hang on. Someone's at the door. That may be her. Please hold on. For wrong number. Could I speak to John, please? John? There's no one by that name here. I'm afraid you have got the wrong number. Wrong number? Is this the English department? No, I'm sorry. It isn't it. This is the English language center. Oh, I'm sorry to have bothered you. Could you tell me how to get the operator? Yeah. Just dial 0 if you are on the campus. Otherwise, phone in again. Thank you very much. Advising The following language expressions can be very useful in giving advice. Let us see some examples of sentences giving advice. Why don't you join a club or something? I advise you to take up sports. Children, you should not play with sharp objects. You might get hurt. See the following conversation. Thank you, John. I enjoyed your lunch very much. Are you sure the curry wasn't too hot? I would not mind a cold drink though. But I am not sure. A cold drink is best thing if you found the curry a little hot for you. It will probably make you hotter and even give you hiccups. Yes, I think John is right. Can I offer you some fruit instead? A good idea. Why not have a slice of pineapple? They are very sweet and juicy. General Inquiries As the title suggests, these are about asking for information in various situations like at railway station, at airport, etc. See the following conversations. At railway station, the conversation may be as follows. Could you please tell me where the platform ticket counter is? Platform ticket counter? Just walk along the corridor to the last window. Excuse me, has the Brindavan Express left? No, it hasn't. It is still on the platform. Could you please tell me on which platform the Brindavan Express is? It's on platform number 9. Where is platform number 9? It is to your right when you walk through the entrance gate. Yes and no. We use several language expressions to include full agreement, total disagreement and agreement only on certain points and disagreement only on certain points. Let us see some following conversations. Conversation 1. Do you think children should be punished at school? Definitely not. Then won't they take things easy and fool around? No. They won't, if you advise them and handle them properly. I have to disagree with you. Sometimes disciplining them is necessary. In extreme cases, maybe. Conversation 2 The tax is unfair, don't you think so? I'm afraid I disagree with you. Well, it's unfair to some people, perhaps. True, but then... No tax is perfectly fair. Yes, on the other hand, it affects the rich rather than the poor. Saying thank you. You thank people when they say your work is good or you look good. When they have done something for you or have offered to do something. Let's see expressions used in thanking people. Conversation 1. Could you guide me in filling this form? Write your name here. Yes. Write your address? Yes. Give your registration number? Yes. Sign here? Yes, thanks. That's okay. You're welcome. Skills and talents. Sometimes we speak about the physical or mental skills, talents or abilities we have or we don't have. For example, 
a job interviewer might want to find out what skills you possess for the job let us see the following conversation savita what do you think of pande for this post he is very capable sir you can appoint him he is good at accounts and can prepare any type of accounting documents but we need somebody who is fluent in english don't worry sir he is good at english can he work on computers i don't know how competent he is in operating computers even if he doesn't know computers we can send him for a crash course is he capable of handling the type of people we have in our accounts department of course he is good at handling people english pronunciation practice practice with pronunciation using english is a stress time language and as such good pronunciation depends a lot on the ability to accent the correct words and successfully use intonation to make sure you are understood simply put spoken english stress the principal elements in a sentence content words and quickly glides over the less important words function words nouns principal verbs adjectives and adverbs are all content words pronouns articles auxiliary verbs prepositions and conjunctions are function words and are pronounced quickly moving towards the more important words this quality of quickly gliding over less important words is also known as connected speech what are these these are chairs what are these these are pencils what are these these are books are those eggs yes those are eggs are those notebooks no those are not notebooks are those pencils yes those are pencils is this candle small or big this candle is big is this box small or big this box is big is this door white or brown this door is white is this a pen yes this is a pen is this a pencil box yes this is a pencil box is this your book no this is not my book what are those those are pens what are those those are balls what are those those are trophies what is that that is a blackboard what is that that is a fan what is that that is a door are you good children yes we are good children are you a girl yes i am a girl are you a boy no i am not a boy what is this this is a pen what is this this is a chair what is this this is a book what is your name my name is dimple sharma what is your father's name my father's name is mr krishan sharma what is your mother's name my mother's name is mrs vijay sharma what is your father my father is a businessman what is your mother my mother is a housewife what is your grandfather my grandfather is a serviceman the importance of speaking practice there are four key skills when you learn a language listening speaking reading and writing which one of these is the odd one out which one of these is different from the other 
the answer is speaking the other three you can do alone on your own without anyone else you can listen to the radio alone you can read a book alone you can write a letter alone but you can't really speak alone speaking to yourself can be dangerous because men in white coats may come and take you away that is why you should make every effort possible to find somebody to speak with where can you find people who can speak english with you and how can you practice speaking when you are alone introducing yourself when you are introducing yourself to other people would use your first name in informal circumstances now let us see some examples of introducing yourself see the following conversation conversation 1 hello my name's peter what's your name rose where are you from rose i am from seattle where are you from i'm from madrid are you an american yes i am are you a spanish yes i am conversation 2 hello hi my name is malvin what's your name my name is john what are you studying b where are you from i am from bombay and you i am from chennai hello and goodbye all of these greetings are used in formal situations when we might say how do you do in english or meeting people who we don't know particularly well now see the following conversation hello peter how are you fine thanks how are you i'm fine thank you where are you going i'm going for dinner okay carry on bye bye smith have a nice day thanks you too thanks telling the time these conversations are useful to tell the time in a polite manner when somebody asks time observe the following conversations conversation 1 excuse me can you tell me the time please yes of course it's 7 o'clock thank you no problem conversation 2 what time is it 1 thanks personal information this conversation is useful when you are giving full information about you in a short manner see the following example what's your surname smith what's your first name fred where are you from atlanta georgia what's your job i'm a teacher what's your address 34 white street what is your phone number 3086730 how old are you 28 Are you married? Yes, I am. Shopping. While shopping around, you have to ask the salespersons for the things you have to buy, ask for its price, ask for another, etc. See the following conversation. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a sweater. What size are you? I am an extra large. How about this one? Yes, that's nice. Can I try it on? Certainly there's the changing rooms over there. Thank you. How does it fit? It's too large. Do you have a large? Yes, here you are. Thank you. I'll have it please. Okay, how would you like to pay? Do you accept credit cards? Yes, we do. Visa, MasterCard and American Express. Okay, here's my Visa card. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you goodbye At the airport In the airport at the time of checking in and passport control the conversation looks like in the following manner See the following examples At the time of checking in the conversation may be as follows Good morning Can I have your ticket please Here you are 
Thank you. Would you like smoking or not smoking? Non smoking, please. Would you like a window or an acyl seat? An acyl seat, please. Do you have any baggage? Yes, this suitcase and this carry on bag. Here's your boarding pass. Have a nice flight. Thank you. At passport control, the conversation may be as follows. Good morning. Can I see your passport? Here you are. Thank you very much. Are you a tourist or on business? I am a tourist. That's fine. Have a pleasant stay. Thank you.